Okay, so welcome back. We're about to do our drug deal. At least I hope we are. Because I'm excited for our drug deals. I'm trying to get this mic positioned properly. So you don't hear me being like... Alright. The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. <gasps> what? what is huh? that? It's a it's little white bad. lady. Please, Oliver. Don't go. Huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Do not Ollie. go near her, Ollie. What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. If he says dum dum, I'll punch him. Man, who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Like, how does? There's nobody there. I'm seriously, honestly, Philip is a dum dum. How do you She's not see right that white there. light disappearing? A girl. A girl, huh? Mm -hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh no, couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> yeah. Apparently we can skip oh, cutscenes. The boy who will save the world. But unfortunately. His light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. So I hope the audio was recording last episode. Prophecies speak of that he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, your radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well. You're Her ready. outfit is really weird, but I kind of like it. He who would save this doomed world must die. It's Wrath, it's Wrath Bitch. Dwight Bitch. I mean, Dwight Witch. Run, mother! Ollie? Where are you? Ollie? Oliver? Oliver? Damn. Oliver's missing. What you gonna do? You're kinda busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Oliver. Oliver. Wrong way. Like, the animation is just amazing. Ready? Take it slow to start with, okay? Yep, got it! All right! It's a pretty sick car you got there. You got that from your drug deal? Just uh, put the car in reverse. And you just want to run him over. Level he just stops. It just doesn't run after him. These are some helpless people. Philip, what happened? It's 
Molly! Oliver! I love how, like, friggin' Philip doesn't even try to save his friend. He's just like, let him drown. Dumb, dumb. Oliver, Oliver, oh, I wake friggin' up. hate Philip. Mom? Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you okay, Phil? I just twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, huh? uh, Allie! Allie! Uh, Allie? <gasps> Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? Oh my god. Oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? Oh dear. I'll fix the okay, well, don't say that, you. Mom? Oh god. Why would you say that? It's like the kid is right there. His mom is dying. You're like, she always did have a weak heart. Oliver, sweetie. It's like. Oh, sweetie. It's like somebody's Mom? dying, and then all of a sudden yeah. they're like. She did really have an ugly face. She really well deserved it. For me. <gasps> she died. Oh, don't do this to Mom? him. <gasps> Sad moment. Mom! No. No. Oh, don't no. Me. Oh, this is so sad. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good. I freaking hate this witch. I want to stab her. Let us see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. Yeah, you dead. Ah. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? I want some apple pie. <sighs> it's a fat cat. Now. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy Toldrum. Oh, it's so sad. Who names her cat Timmy Toldrum? Now. I don't understand. It's the weirdest name for a cat. Oliver, for any animal. Mommy starts her new job today. But she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Be good while mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. Aww. The hell? He's not used to that nose. Huh? What just happened? 
You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Lord of the um, Fairies. Who? What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies. I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you a snivelling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh, dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for... I love how he's just going to eat my apple pie. Do not eat it. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Oh, you're a little piece of pill. That's what you are. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest. Anyway, stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. On with the show. Uh, okay. See, it's like this. See, what it is is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds. See, they're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into yours, the rotter. Uh-huh. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I... Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know, but you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, fair dues? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. Sorry, I Try. misunderstood you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. Take no for an answer. It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What, because your mom dropped dead? Uh. <gasps> You've got a photo! So huh? mean. Uh. Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mom, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia, a proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mom's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mom back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Wait. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? Oh. I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. 
I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvelous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy, we better get going then. Chop, chop. Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. Okay, so that's it for this episode. It was practically the whole thing was cutscene. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.